Hey, welcome. If you make videos on YouTube, you should think about subtitles. This video is about subtitles. I often, not always, but often I work with a script. That's all the text I read, record, and then I cut the video to it. Here's the video on YouTube, and of course you can go to the subtitles tab on the edit page, in the edit section of that video, and then you can add a manual subtitle. And uh, if you just have some text, you can simply Control A, Control C, select all, copy it, and then go to transcribe and auto sync. And then you can just type in, in here. And I think YouTube really likes this when you have double new lines between them. So if we tell YouTube, hey, set the timings, dude, then we have to wait a little. Subtitle timings are being set. Check back soon. Okay, actually that was really, really quick, huh? This is an LGA-1200 AS Rock B460 Phantom Game. It's really weird. Gaming 4 motherboard. It is really weird. Uh, it might be just the way I talk. Anyways, you can see here, AS Rock, etc. starts here, where my cursor is. Let me just zoom in a bit more. Let me play from here. AS. Exactly. So while I say AS, it is still at LGA. Okay, so I'll just correct this. And uh, this can be confusing. You have to move the gray bar, the one pixel kind of white gray bar here. Okay, now it's fine, right? 200 AS Rock B460 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. Okay, again. And was a four. The first part of and does not have the text yet. It's just annoying. Besides the manual and a Okay, and another thing, it just screws with new lines too much. Okay, let's see. Here it's fine. I gotta say, actually, this is much better than in my memory. Oh, I think... Oh, okay, let's look at this, what is going on here. Annual and a super useful optical disc, there are some carefully packaged screws. Presum okay, okay, never mind. It just cut off one word. It's not too bad, but uh, it's not great. However, after this screws, again, half a second or something, too late. Presumably for protection. Again, presumably, it doesn't show the text when saying presumably. It's definitely not perfect. Okay, I gotta say, in this video is actually not too bad. However, in videos with background music, it would be much worse. So I'm gonna show you a better way. So I'm gonna delete the draft, because I don't like it. All right, so if we press add here, I'm just gonna upload a file instead. It's gonna be a subtitle file. Here we have the text, the script. Here we have the video. And let me introduce to you Aegisub. Aegisub. So what I do here is I drag in the video. And then I just copy paste again all the script while clicking here. That's it to get started. Unfortunately, all of these are timed, let me just delete that with control delete. All of these are timed from zero to zero. All right, so I'm gonna have this little keyboard so you can see which keys I'm pressing. And also this one will show you whether I left and right click. And before we start, put your hand, your left hand on the ASDFG row, specifically put the pinky on S, ring finger on D, middle finger on F, index finger on G. S, D, F, G are the core controls. Okay, what do these do? Let's see, G, well, as long as you have this highlighted, you will type, but that's not what we want to do here. Instead, we're gonna have to click in here. Uh, clicking on the scroll wheel will prevent from this area changing. So uh, now let's test the keys. A does nothing yet. G jumps to the next subtitle. And it just assumed that this one was correctly placed between 0 and 5 seconds. S. This is an LGA-1200 This is an LGA-1200 AS Rock B460 Phantom Gaming S plays back the selected area. This is an and if LGA you want to stop it, and if you want to stop it, press H. This is a This is an LG H stops the playback. You can also see this by highlighting this uh, icon here. Now F and uh, A they let you scroll left and right. And finally D. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. D is the most important key you're gonna have. D, D plays back the last 500 milliseconds, the last half second. 
over here, D. I'm gaming. You can also use E for the first 500. This is an. This is an. But that's less important. So, with D, equipped with D, we just have to look at the end of this text. I'm gaming. Okay, gaming is uh, from the next line. So, we're going to use the right mouse button to move the right end of this selection because there's a red selection over here the beginning and a blue selection the end over here so right clicking changes the end position so we're gonna right click somewhere here and then press d it's rock. It's rock again as rock next line 200 200 200 yeah that's it 200 so now we're done with this we can continue to the next using g all right if we Press E. AS. Yeah, we know it starts with AS Rock as intended. If we press D. 60 fan okay, Phantom Gaming Motherboard. It's probably here. Motherboard. Yes, it is here. Now I like to uh, start the uh, subtitles a little bit, not a lot, before the text starts. So I'm going to extend this until here. Let's assume this was way long, maybe two seconds of silence. In that case, maybe I would put it here. And then I would press G for the next line. And then I would press left mouse button to reposition the left side, the beginning of the subtitle. But I actually preferred to uh, not do it that way. I'm going to right click this line here and make times continuous change end. What I just did was nonsense because the beginning of line 3 is 0. So the end of line 2 became 0 or 0 seconds. So this just destroyed line 2, the timing of it, and confused me while I was recording. Mainly I'm using right click, right click on the mouse. I'm gaming D. Rock B. AS Rock. Red AS 200. 200. And G. Pressing G is extremely important because it confirms the end of the line. Alright, this time it worked. Okay, I accidentally pressed G. But if I press Z, I can jump to the previous one and correct it. So, D. 7. Right, 7. K. Yes, that's more like it. G. All right, everything's in order. Features I need. Features I need. All right, here. So I'm just reading this. Looking at the text, I can also zoom in with control mouse wheel. G. Choose. To choose. Yeah. G. Two. Cables. Cables. Shield. Shield. Okay, so I actually added two lines here, which I forgot to write into the script. So we're going to just right click the line above which I want to insert. So insert above. Let's select this and play it back. Back panel shield. Back panel shield. And let's confirm this with G. And insert another one. Insert before. Right click to set the end position and uh, going to go with make times continuous again. Right click again. S to play. Back panel shield. Two SATA cables. Write the text and make times continuous. This, G, right click, make times continuous. Okay, that's better. I think it might be because of this line here. All right, so now we're looking for package screws. Optical, di Optical disk is a bit earlier. There are some screws. Just gonna make this continuous as well. Optical disk, screws, screws. All right, G to confirm, and now we're clear. And press D. Two drives. Right click. There's adapter two drives and wireless yeah that's the wireless adapters from here i guess adapters with e okay uh let me click in here press g and right click drag and again d slots, slots. yeah slots is what i want g to confirm right click i am looking for kit let me just zoom in here a little kit yeah g ports ports yeah G drives. Drives. Yes. G. And USB pins. Pins. G. My case and panel. Mm. Deal for my case and for deal for my case. My case. Case. My case. G ports. On panel. In Mac we have 2.0 port. Ports. Yep. G. 3. Point port. Ports. Ports. I mean, I, again, I'm looking for ports. G. Me. Or to me. Yep. G. Uh, port. Port? Yep. G. Graphics. Board graphics. Board graphics. Yep. G. Clutter. Clutter. G. Continue. Me, but continue. Yes. G. Motherboard. 
board. Yeah. G ports. USB two ports. G uh, panel. Panel. Indeed. G me for me. G and the headers. G USB ports. G uh, ports. Has there a port? Man, I'm talking about ports a lot. G case. Case. G put the motherboard into the case. The case. I um. Okay, this one. The case. All right, this is fine. G uh, CPU. CPU. Yeah. G CPU. Hundred <laughs> K. Um. No. Killer CPU. More like it. Or CPU. Yes. G it. Go on it. Yes. G place. Because in place. Yes. G cooler. Cooler. Yes. G is. Or there is. Yes. Uh, correcting the end position here. G video. Video. Yes. G case. Oldish case. Yes. G uh, one. No one. G right. Was all right. Yeah. G in. To CPU power. Wait, what? In. Okay. G power. Power. Okay. This one. We have a long gap here. Uh, let's press G. And now we have a selection here. We don't want that. I'm just going to do it visually. Click release. Power. And actually with S I'm going to play it all. Connected power. Yes. Uh, G. And again. S. Put in RAM. Yeah, correct. G. And I'm going to again click left mouse button and drag. And let's see. D to play back the end. Panel. Exactly. Connected the audio front panel. Exactly. All right. G to confirm. Right click. I'm looking for years. D. Years. Yes. G. Uh, this is good. I'm looking for here. here. Well, a bit unclear. Is there here? Yes. All right. G. Zero. And zero. Yes. Uh, G and one. Wrong one. Yes. So I don't want actually the subtitles over this clonk. So I'm gonna press G. I can actually drag this uh, red uh, b border as well. Um, D for end playback. Full double USB point zero. Connector. Yeah. Connector. Connector. Uh, G. D. Attach. D. Point zero. D. Zero connector. D. Three. Yes. Here. Uh, G. Again, I wanted to start here. D. Connector. Yes. Wow, I talk about connectors a lot in this video, don't I? <sighs> Makes you reflect upon the content of the video as well. All right, uh, let's see, phone. Button. Nope. Phone. I couldn't. Yeah. Phone. Phone. Yes. Uh, and while and while. The okay. Of the manual. H. G to confirm and D. Start button. Yes. Uh, G. LED. Yes. Uh, G. Bit too soon, and I'm looking for on it. Has some button on it. Yes. A G. No. Manual indeed. Uh, let's go till here. G from my board. Yes. G. Are at the bottom. Yes. G. If you note. Yes. G. Drive. Yes. G. That was pretty good. Well done. Aegi sub. Disabled. Uh, disabled. Be disabled. Yes. Oof. G. D is six. Yes. G prices D. Uh G one D. I'm faster at editing. Whoops, let me go B Eck with Z. And next is G. Okay. Don't know if there's a shortcut for making it continuous. That is actually super useful. There's more shortcuts here. Also the audio on your system might look like this and by default. I prefer Soundwave. Probably this is more useful for when there's music as well. Okay, so this is uh, quite fast. I will finish this in what feels very quick. In the past, I used to mainly use the mouse and it was freaking painful. I used the mouse and then right click, make times continuous. That was very painful. And this is so much better. These keys over here and H and G and Z. Good stuff. Super quick compared to, in my opinion, the UI of YouTube. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm done. Without uh, explaining what I'm doing, this was way faster. Right, so now that I'm done, let's just go to File. Well, first of all, Save. I can also use this icon. And then File, Export Subtitles, Export. And then I'm just going to call this ASRock uh, B460 dot SRT. The dot SRT is important at the end. And Save. Uh, if you really want to, you can test it in here with Control P or pressing this. This is an LGA 1200. Um, now the defaults are making the text tiny. Let's just select all of Control A. So I clicked here and then Control A. And uh, let's just press Edit. And uh, set the text. Let's see the font size over here. Maybe 64 or something. Or 128. This is an LGA 1200 AS AS I got it as it had and was a backpack to SATIC. Besides the presumably the start and I'm using enter to continue to the next line and third in fact and front panel and four you or well, you can just do it without uh, playing it actually back. Right, if you know any other fantastic shortcuts in IAG Sub, uh, let me know. This is fantastic. I just learned about the shortcuts yesterday, but I've been using this for months. Boy, what a speed upgrade. So now that the um, SRT file is here, I can finally choose the file here. Clickety-click, double-click, and uh, upload. Okay, timings are immediate. And look at this, no more stupid timing with uh, at the beginning of a word. This is an LGA 1200 AS Rock B460 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. I got it for my new Intel i7 10700K. So as I said, I think this is more efficient. Do try the first method. If YouTube is really good at this, then you don't need this. But uh, I think it's just not perfect and it will never be. And if you don't like these weird off timings, this is a fantastic method. Hope this is useful. I'll see you next time. Ciao.